Welcome to Papa's Workshop, and I appreciate you spending some time with me today. What we're going to do is take a Google image, show you how to get it, show you how to find one, bring it into Inkscape, and then convert that file using a trace bitmap into a vector file and save it as an SVG and bring it over to Easel so that we can carve. And with St. Patrick's Day just around the corner, I can't think of a better image to be able to use. So let's get started. So I'm going to start out here in Google Images. And I'm just going to type in for a four-leaf clover. And that brings up a lot of different images. But if you can go up here to the Tool setting and click on that, then come over and highlight and go down to Black and White Images. And I can come over to Type. And I can put in Clip Art. And that will show me images that I can use in Easel quite easily. The next thing you want to look at is the resolution. The resolution on this one is 552 by 597. You, what you're looking for is the highest resolution that you can get. So this one is 1200 by 1296. That would be very good. And see, this one is a very low resolution. 295 by 320 and what happens when you click on something like this you can see that it's very very fuzzy so you don't want to use an image that's fuzzy because it's not going to get a good trace so I'm going to go ahead and let's look at that one again that was 1200 by 1296 so I'm going to right click on this image and I'm going to click Save as, and then I'm going to come over here and save this as a four leaf clover. And now this is a PNG image, and that is fine for now. So we'll save that. Now that's all we need for the Google, so I'll close that out. Now I'm going to go ahead and bring up Inkscape. Now in Inkscape, I'm going to come over to File. I'm going to open it. There's my four-leaf clover. So I'm going to highlight that, and I'm going to open that. On this particular page, it says Import or image import type is embedded and that's all fine. So I'll click OK. And we'll open this back up a little bit bigger so we can see it. And there's our image. Now, the next thing I want to do, again, I said this is going to be a real simple uh, video and we're not going to do any changes or alterations to the image. So I'm going to go over here to Path. And I'm going to select Trace Bitmap. Now, one thing I need to do first, I do need to have this highlighted. Okay, so the image is selected. So again, let's go back to Path, Trace Bitmap. Then it opens up this screen right here. And I'm just going to bring it down to two colors because that's really all I'm interested in. I'm going to leave everything else the same. We're going to do Update. There's what the image will look like. I'm going to hit OK. And then now what that has done is create another image on top of it. So I can click on this image and slide it over. And that is my bitmap traced image. Now this other image, I'm going to click on this so you can see them side by side. To be able to tell which one is which, you can look at this first one, and it's still a little bit blurry. You look over here to the left, and it's very sharp and crisp. Another way to be able to tell, I'm going to highlight this one, and I'm going to go over to the left-hand side to the uh, toolbar, and I'm going to select Edit Path by Nodes, and you can see all the nodes and there's actually very few and that's good. 
So that shows that that is the one that has been traced. If I go back to my first image and I select the um, edit node, there's nothing there. So what I can do now is remove that one because I don't need it anymore. So I'm cutting that out and this is the only image that I need. Okay, now then, what I'm going to do is save this. So I'm going to come up to File, and I'm going to do Save As. And I have Four Leaf Clover, and this is now a vector file. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Save, and also the file type is Inkscape SVG, and that's what I want. So I'm going to hit Save, and that is done. So now Inkscape is complete as well. I don't need that. So now I'm going to go down and bring up Easel. Okay, with Easel open now, I'm going to select New Project. And I'm going to import SVG file. And I'm going to scroll down. Well, there it is right there. Four Leaf Clover Vector. I'm going to click on that and open it. And now I have my Four Leaf Clover that I can take. I can move it like any other object. I can make it bigger and I can place it anywhere that I want in the workpiece and it's ready to carve. Okay, I was having a little bit fun and decided to bring a leprechaun in using the exact same technique that I did with the four leaf clover. And the reason I wanted to do that is to show you some of the problems that people will run into. If you look over to the right using an eighth inch bit, the four leaf clover will carve just fine. But if you look at the leprechaun, you see all these dots. Some people get real concerned and say, whoops, what's up? The trace didn't work. It's not going to carve. And you're right, this will not carve such as it is right now. So one of the things you could do is change to a sixteenth of an inch bit and let's see what happens. By doing that it does carve. Now one of the things I want to do here is change the depth. I think it'll be able to see it a little bit better. So I'm going to highlight everything and I'm going to change my depth of cut down to about an eighth of an inch. And now you can see that it carves and it has a good amount of detail. One place here, it is not carving. <clears throat> so what's another option? Okay, another option would be to go to a very, very small bit, which is your 1 32nd. And now you can see that everything does carve. And there's still one more option we can take a look at. We can use the V bit for an example. And let's see what it looks like. And see it carves very nicely as well. So oftentimes it's not a problem with the trace bitmap. It may be simply you have the wrong bit selected and you'll need to make a, a different choice. Thank you for watching the video today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, be safe, have fun, take care now.